Hey guys, it's Loof Dragons. I'm going to be doing another initial thoughts today, and it's going to be on Requiem of the Rose King. I gotta say, uh, y'all's recommendations have been nailing it. I'm reading another um, right now that someone else that's a watcher recommended to me, and it's really good. And this is not an exception either. This is not what I was expecting. Um, someone please explain to me what the War of the Roses is. I know this takes place, or this kind of is a rendition of War of the Roses, and I don't really know what time period this takes place in. I don't know what's supposed to be happening. I, I know a little bit because the House of York and the House of Lancaster sound familiar, but I don't really know history-wise what this is supposed to be like based off of. Apparently this is supposed to be a shoujo, and I don't, I don't, I didn't really get that off of this first one. It might be more, and I can see where it could go. Um, but there wasn't that much of it, I don't think, in this one. Uh, not really at all. I did only buy this first volume, so I've not read, I think, I think five of them are out right now. Um, so I've only read this first one. This is already built to be tragic. It's dark. It's poetic in a lot of senses too. I feel like I should have been able to tell just by like the cover because it's so like not melodramatic but it's so intense. Let me also start off by saying uh, I tried to make these initial thoughts completely spoiler free. I don't think it's fair um, for me to tell you guys anything that really happens in here. Um, so it's harder to talk about a topic revolving around the main character but I'll try. Now, this actually has a relationship that I don't really see very often in manga, which is the relationship between a father and his son. His mother kind of shows disdain and hatred for him, whereas all the memories that he has of his father are filled with positivity and affection. Uh, he even refers to his father multiple times as the light. Um, he stated even that the light, the reason I live. He loves his father immensely, and it's actually super sweet to watch. There's some flashbacks in here um, that show him with his father. Despite that, his character is actually enigmatic. There's a sense that I don't know his intentions, and I don't know what he's thinking, because he comes off more manipulative than you would think. Um, but he does show the most emotion when talking about his father, when being around his father. I mean, his character wears like this skin-tight black suit that covers his entire body and he's closed off and he doesn't reveal much. And that actually, I don't know if the mangaka intended it that way, but for me, um, because I'm huge into like, you know, TV shows and movies as well, Having that kind of wardrobe on this character where he literally, you don't see any skin, there's nothing to be seen, it kind of is an insight into his character. He's dark, he's brooding, he's resentful, um, and he doesn't reveal anything. There is a connection that he makes with another person that probably was my most, not questioning, but kind of the most thing I kind of cocked my head at. The character he meets is so different, uh, and I guess I understand because I feel like this has happened to at least someone uh, one time in their life, where they kind of take a chance at connecting with someone um, with the sliver of hope that a friendship is possible. And I feel like that kind of happens in here um, with someone who's so different from him. Another thing that I really like is kind of the fact that he feels like he has to prove everybody wrong. Um, because he's seen in such a negative light, because he has such negative emotions within him, surrounding him, and that people put on him from people around him, he's kind of, he's not really hateful, he's not really a hateful person, but it's kind of the sense that, that he has to work twice as hard um, to get what he needs to get, or to get what he wants to get, or to where he needs to be, um, because of his name. And I think, for me, that's relatable. The other thing I have to say about this is I don't know 
honestly, if the male audience will like this. I really don't know. That's a big question mark that I had um, when I was kind of writing down notes. It's, I don't know, because I can't spoil anything, so I, I, it's hard for me to even say why that would be, but I don't know how the male audience feels about this. So if you are a guy, and if you have read this, let me know what you think about it. I'd be really curious to know. I know this is supposed to take the shoujo route, um, and so far I have no problems with it, which is very rare, as anyone on this channel should know by now. Don't like romance. I hate it. Um, but I don't mind where this. I think this might be going. I don't mind it. This is very poetic. This is very dark, theatrical. I can already tell just from like the first two pages and from the last pages, I'm still not over that. Um, I can tell this is going to be just sad, just sad feelings all the time, which I'm okay with. Uh, it's really hard to find a manga that has that kind of mood where it's just kind of melancholy. It's just a constant state of sad, but it's not forced. It's just the content. Um, this really surprised me. I don't know what I really expected from it, but this kind of blew me away. The art was fantastic. And hopefully, hopefully I get to see more of the relationship between the father and the son. That dynamic, as fantastic and beautiful and happy and lighthearted for the character as it is, it's also tragic um, in the sense that I think I know what might end up happening. Um, but I really hope it's not the end of that relationship because it's, it's actually quite beautiful. And the answer is yes. I will be picking up more of this. I'm actually really excited. I think the word is interested in seeing, legitimately interested in seeing what's going to happen. A lot of political stuff, a lot of personal stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up more of this. All right, that was my initial thoughts on Volume 1 of Requiem of the Rose King. It's really, really hard to, to talk about this without spoiling, like, one of the main, like, plots of it. So, I tried. All right, until next time. Bye-bye!